Good morning, everybody. Uh, just uh, just an update on what's happening at the castle course. Uh, one of the main problems at this time of year is rabbits, and they've started breeding quite well, so there's there's quite a lot of young kicking around now. I'm currently down on the six, which is a known area for rabbits. During the winter, we removed quite a bit of gorse from this area just to try and expose a few of the burrows. So we're generally trying to concentrate on anywhere close or in the peripheries of, of the green sites. So if your, your golf ball lands um, around the green, you, you're still gonna have a reasonable lie. So this is just down on the six. It's a common area and we, we end up having to do it every year. So there's four or five plugs gone in there and we'll just keep picking away at this around the golf course over the coming weeks. April has been one of the best months I've known since coming back to St Andrews. We've literally had five mil of rain for the whole month. But one of the key things we've had to do during this period is monitor the moisture levels on the greens. This is important if we let them dry down too much then we might suffer what is called dry patch. So we've been using um, one of our tools called a pogo which um, measures moistures. So it's basically a probe that uh, puts in the ground. You basically take a moisture reading. You do so many points over the green and then this gives you sort of an average. So during the whole month of April, I've most probably pogo more than I've ever done because it has been so dry um, after such a wet winter. Um, and this has allowed me to, to basically keep the greens ticking over, uh, allowing them to dry down a little more than perhaps usual with the lack of golf and the lack of maintenance on them. Yeah, so that's, that's one of the things that I've been doing at the castle during the, the, the lockdown.